In this video, we're going to use the pen plus gear calculator to calculate the standard deviation or, more specifically, the sample standard deviation. Okay, so this is the formula for the sample standard deviation. We'll put an X over here. So what we want to do is we're going to enter the data first and then see if we can find some important values so that when we talk about this, it'll be easier to calculate. First thing we need to do is press the mode button. We're going to press the mode button two times, and then we're going to press SD, which is number one, which is the standard deviation um, menu. We're in the SD mode that we can see up here. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to enter the data. So we're going to press one and plus, 2 and plus, 3 and plus, 4 and plus, 5 and plus. As I'm entering the data, n equals gives me an, uh, how many data points I've entered. Here it says n equals 5, that's the fifth data point. Okay, then we can press a C button. And let's see if we can find some values that are useful. There is a sum, S sum, um, sum menu, so shift number 1. And then we get the sum of x squared, the sum of x, the, and then n. We're going to use the sum of x number 2. So we're going to press 2. And then we have to press equals. <clears throat> and it gives us 15. So here, the sum of x equals 15. That's the sum of this. So we're going to, we're going to use that definitely for our mean. If we press, if we press shift 1 again, we can go to number 3, if we press 3, and then equals, it says we have 5 data points, which is true. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 data points. All right. And if we press shift number 2, we can find the mean. And so we press 1, and then equals, and it tells us the mean. x bar equals 3. Why do we need the mean? Because the formula has the mean, okay? And so we can calculate the mean, what, x bar equals the sum of x over n. We have the sum of x, that's 15. And n, we know how many we have. We have 5. So that gives you 3. So the calculator gave us the right answer. Now, the calculator is to check for your understanding of how to do these things um, to lower your anxiety. All right. So if we press shift number we can see that we have this uh, x sigma n minus 1. The sigma n minus 1 is really the standard deviation or the sample standard deviation. So I'm going to press 3 and then equals 1.58. That's a point 58113. Okay, that's the answer. That's how we find the standard deviation <clears throat> using the um, calculator. There's other things too. If we press shift uh, 2, and if we press number 2, uh, which is sigma n, that's the um, population standard deviation value, which is equal to, and then we got to press equals, okay? So we get the answer is one, uh, 1. 1.4142. One, this is not the answer, uh, sigma x. This, this is a different formula. Uh, it would, it's similar, but it would be a capital N for the total number. It's not a correction with N take away one. Okay, so we're good there. This is the answer, sx, and that's great. Let's press the AC button. So to do this by hand, we need to fill out the, these columns because ultimately we want the sum of this column to put here on the, on the numerator. And then we got five, take away one, and then we can do the rest. So to start, we need to fill this column. Here we got xi, which is our first data point. Take away x bar, which is three, equals, well, one take away three equals negative two. We move to the next column, okay, to square it. And then we can square it equals, gives you four. We have two columns because the first column 
is to find a difference. And then the second column is to find the square. <clears throat> so 2 take away 3 is our next data value. 2 take away 3 equals negative 1. And then we're going to square it. And then we press equals. That gives you 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Then 3 take away 3. That's going to give you 0, right? 3 take away 3 gives you 0. And then we're going to square it. Equals. That gives you 0. And then 4 take away 3, right? 4 take away 3 equals 1. We square it. And press equals. 1. 1 times 1 is 1. If we're going a little too fast, you can always rewind. Um, 5 take away 3 equals 5 take away 3 equals 2, right? And 2 squared is 4. Okay. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please tell your teacher about the video. Okay. Um, one thing about this column here. If you get answers, right, let's say you subtract and you get an answer of 2.34758. Question is, how many numbers do you write out? Depends on your teacher. But three numbers after the decimal place is good. Because the more numbers you write out, the more accurate your answer will be compared to the calculator, all right? So that's very important. All right, so if we add this, if we add the sum of xi minus x bar, right, that's going to be approximately zero. This column should be zero. Why? Because the mean is a balance point, and points above the mean and points below the mean in the distance-wise will cancel out. Now, because we don't write all the numbers out as in the answers of this column, this will not be zero because we're not counting all the numbers. By the way, your teacher, I forgot about this again, your teacher should tell you how many numbers <laughs> to write out. Some teachers will tell you two. Chemistry uh, is all about, you know, significant digits. But anyway, this column, the closer it is to zero, the more accurate your answer will be to the calculator. Um, so this is important because if your column here um, is point zero point one three, that's good. That's like 13 cents. I know it's not money, but that looks like 13 cents to me. If you have an answer of 1.34 or 10.7, um, then, or even, even negative numbers, negative 3.8 or something, these numbers are way too big. And what's happening is you're rounding too much. And then because of that, it's not zero. Okay. So geometrically, what's going on with this formula is that it's finding the distances from the mean and then it's squaring them and then it's adding them and then averaging those squares. And then you take the square root, it becomes a number, a line. Okay. So that's zero because these numbers are simple and easy. Then the sum of xi minus x bar squared, what is that equal to? If we add these numbers, 4 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4, and that's equal to 10. Okay. So that is the answer for the top here. So let's do that. So sx, right? equals, right, uh, it's going to be 10 divided by n minus 1. n is 5. The calculator even told us that. Take away 1, which is our correction factor. Always take away 1 for a uh, sample standard deviation. Then that's 10. Uh, and then that's 4. Take the square root. Don't forget to take the square root. 10 divided by 2 is 5. No. 10 divided by 4, I meant, is 2.5. Wow. Okay. That happens. I'm not sure. I probably was reducing or something. Okay. We got that right. Square root of 2.5. And even if I did get it wrong, it wouldn't come out to be 1.58, and then I would have to backtrack. 
All right. Then um, we're going to take the square root of the answer on uh, an equals, and we get 1.58113. Boom. Perfect. The same answer as the calculator. That's amazing, isn't it? That's wonderful. A few things to point out before we close. Sometimes you want the variance of this. That's this number here, 2.5, which is the standard deviation squared, okay? The standard deviation squared, which is 2.5. The more numbers, of course, you put in here, the better. So if I took this and I squared it, give you 2.5. And if you write less numbers, 1.5, um, 8113, and you squared it, you see that it doesn't quite do 2.5, right? Okay. That's important. Another thing to also consider, these numbers right here, you're going to see some negative numbers. If you take negative 5 squared, right? You put negative 5 and then square, it doesn't give you a positive number. It gives you negative 25. Why? Because it's an algebraic calculator. It's thinking something like 9 take away 5 squared. And that's going to be 9 take away 25. Right? Well, what is that? Let's see. 9 take away 5 squared. Negative 16. See that? What I'm trying to say is sometimes the calculator, when you write it out on the calculator, uh, we'll do another one. Where's that negative sign again? Negative, let's say, 6 squared. Should be 36, but it's negative 36. Um, so be just aware of that. Here, when we did this, right, 1 take away 3 equals negative 2, and then we squared it, it gives you 4. We didn't have an issue there, which is, which is kind of weird. Um, but that's, that's how these algebraic calculators work. Okay, if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please tell your teacher. Um, it's exciting. Um, to doing these problems. If there's something in particular you're looking for, please tell me. Um, I hope you have a wonderful semester. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.